Tom, we're, we're here at the University of Gloucestershire doing a bit of fitness testing with the players today. Can you tell me exactly what it is that they're getting up to? Yep, so as you can, you can see behind us, the players are doing a, a lactate threshold test. Uh, followed by a, a, a max heart rate test. So we're looking at a, a sub-maximal test followed by a maximal test. So we're looking at their aerobic and their anaerobic capacity today. Yeah. So of course it's very good for you to be able to get this information for all the details of the players and their fitness state. So in which way would you use that information and how useful is it to you? Yeah, so it just gives us um, information on where the players are from, from an aerobic and anaerobic point of view. And, and where perhaps the players have certain strengths and weaknesses and where we can, can improve, in, improve them in certain areas. Yeah, and the facilities here at the University of Gloucester obviously are excellent being in this, this room right now. How great is that for you living no, it's, it's brilliant. It's, it's invaluable for us to be able to collaborate with, with the University of Gloucestershire. As you say, they've, they've got some excellent facilities here and it's great for us to be able to, to use, their, uh, use their labs here and um, it gives me data that I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to, to get otherwise, which gives me more information. Uh, in preparation for, for, for the season ahead. And as we've seen on the fitness side of things and the training ground, we've been taking part in a physical role. I know there's also this sort of almost science-based area in yeah. as well. Um, for you, is, is the job these days a the case of putting that all together uh, instead so yeah. just focusing on one area? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the lab stuff that you're seeing today uh, informs what, what we do on the pitch. So the, the two work, work hand in hand. Um, so um, the, more, the more information we can gather, um, the more that can be applied on the pitch, so it's great. And when you're dealing with the players, how do they find this? I know it's obviously part of their jobs, but is it something they embrace in many ways? Um, it's, it's, it's all part of the job. It's, it's all part of pre-season, really. Pre-season's always, always going to be tough um, from a physical point of view. But the players have been great. They've been really good. They've applied themselves really well. Um, I've been really, really pleased with, with, with what they've been doing. Yeah, and this is a, a time of year for you personally, in terms of the coaching staff. It's quite important, of course, this early part of pre-season. Yeah, it's really busy, really busy for me. Um, lots, of, uh, lots of data to, to trawl through, especially from, from today's session. Um, but yeah, pre-season is, is really important for the players. It's about building that base um, to ensure that the players are, are robust enough to, uh, to, 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 to remain injury free throughout the season, but also in terms of optimal performance and getting the very best, the very best out of, of each one of them. Definitely, and so far you individually have you enjoyed being part of the process? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's early days. This is um, uh, probably three days in now, but it's been great. Uh, really enjoyed, enjoy uh, meeting the lads, um, and um, and as I knew quite a few of the staff members already. So um, yeah, it's been great. It's been a really good few days. Definitely, and you say you need the staff members. Has it been great with Mark and Scott coming over this side to, to, to Gloucester and embracing what is a different challenge, I suppose, to what it was at Swindon? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's very different, very different environment. Um, um, but um, it's good to work with, with, with Scott and Mark again. Um, we know how each other work. Um, and we, we share sort of similar philosophies on, on, on training and, and, and um, conditioning. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been great.